A contentious fight may be ahead as the DPP tries to pass its so-called anti-infiltration bill by the end of the year. Honghai founder Terry Goh says he will camp out in protest at the legislative yuan if the bill is brought to the floor. Criticism has also come from Taipei Mayor Ke Wenche, who says the devil is in the legislation's details. The anti-infiltration bill is aimed at preventing hostile foreign forces from meddling in Taiwan's elections. It's scheduled to go up for vote next Tuesday. Go has thrown down the gauntlet. He says that if the DPP tries to pass its anti-infiltration bill on December 31st, he will camp out at the legislative yuan in protest. A 70-year-old senior like me, I'll find some young people to go with me and sleep there. In principle, preventing foreign forces from influencing Taiwan's election is a goal I think is okay. Presented like that, nobody would say no. But how this law will be implemented has to be made clear. Otherwise, you'll create problems. Ke and Go each have qualms about the legislation. Meanwhile, the Pan Blue camp has theories about the bill's purpose. They said the DPP was rushing the bill because it could block the KMT's presidential candidate. They want to use the anti-infiltration bill on you, Han Guoyu, so that you become ineligible to run in the elections. Even if you won, your election would be voided. The anti-infiltration bill targets people who have committed crimes against national security. It does not target any individual in particular. I wish the KMT would not be so defensive and assume the bill targets them. Another DPP lawmaker, Li Junyi, said the pan-blue camp needed to read the bill properly before criticizing its contents.